Hi, Mark and Morgan here from Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to take a look at the Gaja Baby Twin semi-automatic espresso machine. Now it's called the Baby Twin because there are two boilers. There's one for brewing and there's one for steaming, so there's virtually no wait time between the two. Yeah, like on a single boiler machine, generally you're going to have to wait for steam pressure to build up after brewing, or after steaming, you're going to have to cool down a boiler before brewing again. So some other highlights of this machine, it has a three-way solenoid valve, stainless steel housing, and it is pod ready right out of the box like all Gaja semi-automatics. It also has chrome-plated brass, commercial size, porta filter, and brew group, which those are going to retain a lot of heat. They're good for heat retention, which is important when brewing espresso. Mm -hmm. And if you're familiar with the Gaja Classic, this has all of the same brewing components as the Classic does. It just has that added boiler and it also has programmable shot volumes. Along with the two programmable shot volumes, the machine can also do pre-infusion. That just briefly wets the coffee puck before the actual extraction takes place, generally resulting in a fuller extraction. It also utilizes a three-way solenoid valve, which is a step up in espresso machine technology. It's an electrically operated valve that is more robust, will last longer, and is less prone to leak down the road. So there are two programmable brew buttons, and to program those, you just press the program button until it begins flashing. Once it starts flashing, you press the desired brew button, and it'll start dispensing your coffee. Once you have the desired amount, you press that brew button again and the program button, and that will be stored for future use. It's worth talking about the boiler in the Gaja Baby Twin a little bit. Again, this is the same boiler that you'll find in a Gaja Classic machine, and it's unique in that the heating elements are actually wrapped around the boiler, so there's never any direct contact with the water, which in some other machines where that does happen, that is a point of failure. So as we mentioned earlier, it does come with a commercial size porta filter, and that has both a single and double shot pressurized filter basket, as well as a standard double shot basket. So right out of the box, you can start brewing with pods or pre-ground coffee, so you don't necessarily need to have a grinder to use this machine, and both of those options are really great for people just starting out in espresso. Steaming milk on the Gaja Baby Twin, very easy. Just turn the knob on the top here, and because you've got that second boiler, you're going to get steam right away. It also has an auto-frothing Panarello wand. It has a little hole at the top that automatically injects air into your milk, so if you're not experienced with creating a froth, it kind of does the work for you. If you want just steamed milk or less frothy, just cover that hole, and it'll just heat your milk up. Now, also available for this machine and any Gaja semi-automatic machine, it's a Latte Art Panarello wand. Now, that allows you to really finely texture your milk if you're into pouring latte art. The Panarello wand is on a ball joint, and that's going to give you a lot of clearance for your steaming pitcher and really get that under there easily. There's also a hot water button on the machine, and that's going to allow you to make Americanos, get hot water for your tea, really anything that you need hot water for, you can get it right through the steam wand. The Baby Twin has a metal and stainless steel construction with some really nice rounded edges to it. And it has an active cup warmer on top that's going to keep your espresso cups nice and hot for when you're ready to brew. Yeah, you want to brew into those nice warm cups. Um, the water reservoir is mounted on the back. It's a 60 ounce capacity. It does not come with a water filter, but we do have maybe and tons of water filters available for them. Um, that's going to improve the taste of your espresso and reduce routine maintenance down the road. It has a chrome drip tray with a pop-up indicator to let you know when that drip tray is full, and then you just slide it right off of the machine for easy emptying. So, to wrap it up, the Gaja Baby Twin, rather similar in some ways to a Gaja Classic, and that Classic's been around for years. Um, what it does add, of course, is that second boiler, which means you get steam faster. It also adds the ability to program shot volumes. And you'll get some touches like a chromed Panarello wand and a larger water reservoir. Again, this is the Gaja Baby Twin semi-automatic espresso machine, and it is available now at wholelattelove.com. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.